Joe Gozo, and this is Folk Project Television. I have a great show for you today. Once again, I've dipped into the pool that is the Horses Sing None of It archive. It's a very deep pool, and I've barely begun exploring the secrets concealed in its depths. On today's show, I'm featuring performances by John Jackson, Ernie Hawkins, and Joe Jenks. So please stick around for some great music. Now, I live in a condominium complex with eight units attached to every building. We don't have a lot of common space in which to roam, neither between the buildings or in the parking lot area or anywhere. So negotiating those areas can be challenging, trying to keep social distancing in mind. I keep a gas grill in one such area and like to barbecue maybe once or twice a week. That's the simple part. The other problem I have is my neighbors have to pass that area every time they want to go in or out. To get to the parking lot where their car is, they have to walk right past me. I am on good terms with the neighbors, and so far we've had no issues. But I hope they don't start asking me to cook some food for them to offset the inconvenience of making them, you know, go around me or me going around them or asking them to wait for a second while I flip something. Anyway. I suppose I'd do so, but they're going to have to supply the food. I'm not going to buy the food for them. Anyhow, let's jump into the music that I have for you today. John Jackson was born in Virginia in 1924 and died in 2002. A Piedmont-style musician whose blues songs and traditional performances were so well-loved that he received the 1986 National Heritage Award by the National Endowment for the Arts. Now that's the highest honor the U.S. government issues in the folk and traditional arts. Interestingly, he worked throughout his life as a grave digger. His fame never changed him. And in interviews, he remained very humble and didn't quite get why people made such a big deal out of his music. It's a pleasure for me to bring you some of his music now. Oh. 
now I'm gonna play another blues. Traveling mind, traveling mind. I'm so blue. Things I won't be blue all way. Caught that sun gone shine. My back door someday. My good girl, she done quit me. I feel like down. I'm going down to the river. I'm going to take my rocking chair. And the blue don't leave me. Rock on way from That's a good one. Ooh, we. <laughs> I like that one. Midnight hour, blues. Oh, that wee midnight hour. Long past the break of day. Stay at that wee midnight hour. Long past the break of day. The blues is on you. What he's singing about, all I know, he was going up north and pulling his britches off and going dancing his long <laughs> day up. Thank you. 
some of his music available for us to enjoy today. Next up, Ernie Hawkins. Ernie was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1947, and he's well known for his blues stylings. He's a singer, a songwriter, a recording artist, and an educator. And even though he's the holder of a PhD, he hasn't let it change him. He plays nationally and internationally to this day, recording, teaching, and advocating for blues music. Let's give a listen to the three songs he performed for us on horses back in 2002. Does that Red River run? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Honey, does that Red River run? Straight from my back door, baby, to the rising sun. Said I walked all the way, Houston to the Texas shore. Walked all the way, Houston to the Texas shore. Don't like my doorbell, baby. Don't you push my button no down on the ground Yeah Honey, sit down on the ground Gonna let the waves of water wash my troubles down River going to carry my rocking chair. Yeah, carry my rocking chair. Going to ask Mr. Tadpole if the blues ever stop by right there.
just a, a kind of tune that that, was, that floated around uh, everywhere in Piedmont. This is this is basically a, a kind of a Piedmont thing. That last uh, song I play, that last blues, was more of a, a Texas style A blues, a Texas Oklahoma kind of style song, and this is more of a East Coast Piedmont type song. Sort of a kind of song, really not a song in itself, but everybody played this kind of thing, and. Uh, it, it just floated from guitar player to guitar player. I call it railroad blues.
I won't be back till dawn. I saw you talking to that yo-yo from El Tuna. You took his hand and then you broke my heart. I'm gone away, riding on a moonbeam. I'm gone away, I won't be back till dawn. Sweetheart back in Pittsburgh It's so much fun I don't want to wake up I'm gone away Riding to Virginia I'm gone away I might be back by spring today has done shows for us before. He's the Folk Project's good friend, Joe Jenks. The first thing I noticed about Joe was his incredible voice. It's rich, resonant, and captures your attention immediately. When you add to that his lyrical stylings and melodies, they transport you the rest of the way to reach a musical nirvana that few artists achieve. The four songs that I'm going to present to you today were recorded for Horses in 20, 2013, and they're still as fresh and timeless as they were seven years ago. Let's give them a listen. Well, if you have a minute, John, I sure feel like hell. The union vote is coming up, and things aren't looking well. No, I'd like to stand up for the things that I believe But it seems that my life's not as simple as it used to be I was 
born in Tulsa back in 1951 They say that I could drive a spike before I learned to run In a land of dust and corn the rails spoke a steel truth The men that kept them working were the heroes of my youth for they sang come did a little like do I day working for the railway come did a little like do I day working for the railway when I was a young man and I thought to run away train it came through our town and I got on one day I rode it down to Gallup and then back to Santa Fe and everywhere I listened I could hear the railway workers singing come in a little I met a soul to match my life But her father said that I must have a job to take a wife So I looked around at all the work that I might do Found that it was time for me to sing the only song I knew Such a sin. Bosses, they don't understand how hard I work each night. And I've got mouths to feed, and so I do my part till daylight. Singing, come did a little light, do I day? Working for the railway. Come did a little light, do I day? Working for The name for Ireland is Aaron. Um, the song is called On Aaron's Shore. Ah. Uh -huh. 
as a stranger from across the sea. Gaelic, the name for Ireland is Aaron. Um, the song is called On Aaron's Shore. 
sister Jean is a public school teacher uh, and has been for many years. She teaches uh, kind of inner city in Cincinnati. And uh, some years back, one of her students uh, was killed. He was, uh, his name was Jashawn Johnson, and he was a Golden Gloves boxing champion for his age and weight group. And he was, he'd received a letter from the National Olympic Committee, and they had invited him to come try out for the summer games. And, you know, I I his life had a lot of promise, and tragically, uh, he was killed. Um, and, uh, and the papers in Cincinnati, where I lived at the time, um, all they wrote, they didn't even, they just wrote his name and wrote a statistic, the 21st murder of the year in Cincinnati. They didn't write anything about all of this incredible promise that this young life had that had gotten cut short. And so I wanted to honor his life because his story is the story of many, many young people in our cities. It's called The Ballad of Deshaun. <laughs> Sean Johnson grew up in a world of stone and steel Where the neighborhoods have edges that are rough And the monsters of our childhood are real his problems in the classroom though he always gave his best when he put on his gloves and stepped into the ring it was clear he was a notch above the rest in Cincinnati trainer and they made quite a team his parents house was full of trophies and awards like a private hall of fame a tribute to a dream he was invited to try out for the olympic summer games everybody was his ticket out and his life would never be the same in Cincinnati Jashawn would never box outside the ring for he knew it was not right even pushed into a corner when some other young men wanted him to fight. He tried to turn away from their jealousy and rage, but they attacked. They cursed him and beat him. One of them pulled out a gun and shot him. Cincinnati The medics did their best to save Jashan, but his spirit slipped away And we wonder where God's mercy goes when there's children killing children every day but the papers did not print a word about the promise of the young life that was lost. All they could say was Deshaun was the 21st murder of the year in Cincinnati. Minister said it is not how long we dance our feet upon this earth But how pure is our soul when we leave and That's the measure of our worth And Jashan was pure If we honor him then we must not be afraid 
like the flowers that bloom in the early spring takes a chance that there still might be a frost in Cincinnati in Cincinnati express my sincere appreciation for the Horses Sing None of It team who provided us all this great music. Thanks especially goes out to Ralph for his blessings on using his work in our program. And I'm going to have more wonderful music from the Horses Sing None of It archive on next week's program. I will also be speaking with the multi-talented Mr. David Gulata. Although David is not a musician, his art and his writing are powerfully influenced by music, and we're going to discuss that. As I have said every week, the pandemic is in full force. Let's remain united in keeping ourselves and those we love safe. Please be careful and observe best practices to remain healthy. Let's listen to the medical experts, and we'll come through this together. Thank you for watching the show. And if you have any comments for me or comments about the show, any questions or anything whatsoever, please send them to me at joe.guzzo at folkproject.org. And I'll hope you join me again next week. Until then, enjoy a good book. Listen to some new music. And don't forget, I would love to have you on this show or at the very least some of your music. I look forward to seeing you again. Until then.